Hello everyone, welcome to Salesforce Predator. In this channel, we discuss about various concepts and technologies. In this video series, we are discussing about JavaScript. In today's video, we will see double equal to operator, triple equals to operator and object dot is in JavaScript. Double equal to operator is used to compare two values. However, while comparison, it does not check the data type of operands. It just check the value. Okay and it performs the type coercion while comparison of these operands okay so we have already seen type coercion in one of our previous video if you have not watched it just watch it before coming to this video okay so it will be helpful to you next we have triple equals to operator and this is also called as strict equality operator because along with comparing value it also check whether these operands are having same data type or not okay and only if the value as well as data type matches it will return true otherwise it returns false okay so it does not perform the coercion while comparing of the operands we are going to see the difference between two okay so let's go to our vs code and let's take some example to understand both so first we'll look into double equal to operator okay now there are certain limitations or confusions caused by this double equals to operator and that is why it is always preferred to use triple equals to or strict equality operator in javascript okay let me show you let's have a console log result is okay now let's say we have two numbers so let's say if we try to compare these two numbers what it will return it should return two right because it's having same value correct you can see it is returning true similarly if we have different values then it should return false right but what if we are having same value let's say 0 and 0 but here the data type is string for this 0 okay so that means this is a string in javascript and this is a number okay now let's try to compare these two you can see it is still returning true okay why because when we are using double equals to operator for comparison it performed type coercion okay so uh, since one of the operand is string this zero is also converted into string before comparison and that's why it is returning true value okay now uh, because of this there are certain issues and confusions which arises okay so first one is uh, this and uh, there are a lot of other issues for example let's say if we compare 0 with empty string okay and if you try to execute this see what it's returning it's returning true okay but nowhere it is same so this 0 is like uh, of number data type and this is an empty string in javascript right still it is returning true uh, in, instead of that if i make it this way then it returns false okay you can see it is returning false over here apart from this let's say we have some values let's say false and false over here okay now this is false in string and this is boolean now if i try to execute this it is returning false correct but what if i try to compare this zero in string with false let's see what happens you can see it is returning true okay so it's it's creating a confusion over here and it's it the behavior is becoming quite complicated and unpredictable right uh, along with this let's say we have one more example let's say we have null okay and let's say we have undefined now let's check what it returns see it's returning again true okay so there are certain uh, confusions uh, along with this double equals to operator and hence uh, we always prefer to use triple equal to or strict equal to operators in javascript okay so let's look into similar examples console.log result is and 
and we'll just copy this but instead of double equals to we will use strict equality operators okay now in case of double equal to it is returning as two right just comment it for now and now execute it you can see it is returning false okay so it totally avoids the confusion now let's say if i'm checking with this zero and zero again it will return false right uh, if, if i try to compare let's say zero with false here you can see it is returning false okay so it avoids the confusions and complicated behavior because it does not perform the type coercion internally and uh, it check both whether data type as well as the value of both the operand is matching or not if and only if both the uh, value as well as data type is same it returns true otherwise it returns false okay now with this triple equal to or we can say strict equality operator also there are some corner scenarios where it does not return correct or expected result okay so let's look into that we will add a console log here okay now let's compare nan values okay let's say nan equals to equals to nan okay we will use triple equals to now what do you think it should return uh, it might be expected that it should return true right now let's try to execute this you can see it is returning a false value okay and expected behavior was true now this is one example and uh, one more example let's say if we try to compare 0 and negative 0 in JavaScript using triple equal or we can say strict equality operator. Let's try to execute this. Now technically these two values seems to be different and it is different in JavaScript. But let's say what strict equality operator returns. You can see it is returning as true okay so these are some corner scenarios which the strict equality operator does not handle properly okay so uh, to overcome this in es6 version javascript released this helper method object dot is okay now object dot is overcomes the limitation of strict equality operator okay in case of object dot is nan and nan both are same and zero and negative zero they are different okay rest all the behavior is exactly like similar to strict equality operator only but it uh, does handle these corner scenarios very well okay so just quickly look into this corner scenario using object dot is okay we'll add a console log and we will check object dot is let's look into n a n comma n a n and execute this we'll comment this let's execute this you can see it is returning true as expected correct and let's try for zero and negative zero now here expectation would be to return false right because they are technically different values so let's try this you can see it is returning false okay so uh, this is all about double equals to strict equality and object dot is operations in javascript and we have seen what are the limitations and uh, benefits of using each of them okay so if you have any questions you can write it down in the comment section thank you for watching this video do not forget to subscribe this channel